So I got into uh, Tokyo last night and I really like it. Um, it's more confusing to get around in a lot of places because a lot of the street signs aren't in English and I thought that I was going to have my uh, Google Fi data working on my phone but it's not working. So what happened last night was I, I like to walk crazy distances especially when I'm like in a new place so I decided instead of looking around for a bus or whatever, uh, my guest house was like five and a half miles. It's not even that crazy. But, um, so I got in at like 8.30. I probably got out of the airport like 9, 9.30 after customs and everything. Um, Google Maps worked like part of the way. And then um, I walked a few miles and I was walking down this area where there was like this night golf course and I kept going past that and then I got to this point where there was a split in the road and I didn't know which way to go and my Google Maps wasn't working so I walked by to, to a hotel and I decided to get a taxi cab um, I was told it would cost about 2,000 yen which is about $13 and I just was like wanted to get to my room um, even when I got the ride to where the place was, he didn't even know, the driver didn't even know exactly where it was. Like, there's numbers and stuff, but it's like hard to tell the numbers and I can't like, so I actually had somebody help me. This girl like looked it up on her phone and even she was kind of looking around and everything. Thank you so much, domo arigato. Um, so she was um, helping me on the phone. But even she was kind of getting confused about it. She pulled it up the address and she was like kind of pointing like, oh, it should be here. So she kind of like peeked down the alley and like after a few minutes, we finally found it. So when I finally got there, it was about midnight and no one was there. So I had to do like a late check-in like online. Um, I would have been really agitated, but the place was really nice, and there was restrooms, and there was a place to sit and figure it out on my phone. And I was kind of on the with the Google Fi guys going like, "Hey, what's up?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, in Japan we're not getting service for some reason." And I mean, the whole reason I paid extra was so that I wouldn't have that issue. But anyway, um, so. You had to get this, um, there's this thing called Line. It's some kind of app they use in Japan and I was trying to get it, but when I when I was trying to get texted back an affirmation code, I wasn't getting the text. But I ended up um, getting the Wi-Fi code at the place and I was able to email the people that run the place and they gave me the code to get into my room. So, I got into the room and I was super impressed with the hostel. Um, about six years ago when I was at a hostel in Las Vegas, I told myself, I'm never doing a hostel again. I'm like too old for this stuff, right? But Japan's a different story because the hostels are very quiet and clean and orderly and you know, you need a little code to get in and, and um, it was just, I had a really good night's sleep, so that was cool. Um, and then I booked, I decided to book, a, oh, thank you so much, that looks delicious, look. Thank you so much. So, um, what was I saying? Um, so I decided to pre-book one more, I think tomorrow I'm just gonna like walk around and, and like Shinjuku, but right now I'm in this place called um, Akasusa uh, or Asakusa, and it's supposedly like a kind of a mellow neighborhood. But um, so even getting the train was a little bit confusing. I went to the info booth and he helped me figure out which ticket to buy, but then on the train I had to ask somebody where. And this girl told me that I had to get off at um, this thing and get a connecting. Luckily, there was the train right across is where I connected. So I got off at Akasuza. 
but then I'm trying to find the thing on my phone and it's even if I have the directions written down it's just difficult because of the way things are but um, I'm really digging Japan and um, um, I'm really digging the vibe here so I will let you know more but that's what I got and also hi Brian my brother and hi snack my friend snack Ben Rathke. Um I would, I would have been calling more if I had the Wi-Fi working.